Hey YouTube, it's me, Natural Beauty. I was just coming to you guys, you know, to um, show you some of the new things I've got and kind of explain to you what my new regimen is going to be. Kind of explain it to you. I haven't even, it hasn't taken effect yet because I've had these braids in my hair. It'll be two weeks this weekend, which is awful. I'm just, I'm just kind of in my lazy mood. You know, every now and then you get in those lazy moods where you do a hairstyle so that you don't have to bother your hair. Even though you know you should wash it every week. I know, I know, I know. I'm just the winner and I, I don't know. It's just, it's making me kind of lazy. <laughs> but um, some of the new things I've gotten is, for one, I've gotten the Grow It Chikoro book. Right here. And I'm really actually surprised by the details. I'm really surprised about the details that were actually in this book. I mean, it has so many details about your hair. So many details. So I'm actually going to have to read it again. I was so eager to read it. I read it, but I didn't take it all in. I, I read the whole book, but I, I need to go over it again now that I'm over the eagerness and the excitement and read it again and, and actually apply it into a regimen or a routine for my hair. So I did get that. So now I've read the Kathy Howes Ultra Black Hair Growth and now I've read the Grow It Your Core. But both of them I'm going to go back over and read again. And then I also got this. I got this from work at Rite Aid. They have the Conair kind of knock off Denman brushes. But I mean surprisingly no matter where you get your Denman brush, a Denman brush is going to be a Denman brush. I mean the only difference is Demon is ten dollars. You're paying for the name, but this one is just as good. And it was only like four ninety nine. But I went ahead, like on Kimmy Tube, um, her modified Demon brush. I did the same thing. I took the bristles out so that there aren't as many bristles in it. And they're not as close together. So I'm gonna try that. See how that works out. But um, this is the one I got from work. And then this is the regular Demon. See not much of a difference <sighs> at all except for one has more teeth than the other and this one had this many teeth but I like I said I took three rows out so that's pretty much it I'm still gonna keep my dinner I'm not gonna get rid of this this is for my my deep 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 detangling <laughs> so um, I am gonna keep it I'm not gonna get rid of it and plus, I did pay ten dollars for it. <laughs> so and then I have my detangling combs. I have this one. This one I, I really like, but um, I'm still searching for the best. But this one I like. I have these two. I like these as well. These are the same. They have the shower hooks on them, but they're the same, just different colors. But that's pretty much it for that. And then I bought me some new hair clips because the smaller ones I just didn't like. They were pull the way they were pulling on my hair when um my hair was wet or something like that and, and as in the Chikoro book when your hair is wet it's the weakest so I didn't want to keep on doing that to my hair but I got these they open pretty wide so I got these ones instead and I like these and plus you see they only have like one two three four teeth in them as opposed to the six or eight that are in the smaller one so there's a lot less chance of snag I figure if there's less, less teeth and they open wider. So I'm thinking I'm going to stick with these. And 12 come in a pack for like $2. So I'm going to use those. I also got this. I got this from Sally's. Silk Elements Mega Silk. Olive Moisturizing Treatment. Now I'm not big on this product. I'm not eager or too excited to try it. Because I'm one of those natural kick people. But the good thing is, this does not have parabens. <laughs> That's the main thing I was looking for was parabens. So, I'm I'm hoping... Let me see if I can find the ingredients. Oh yeah, they're on the bottom. Ingredients. It has water, alco um, water, soteria alcohol, subtle esters, glycerin, something else I can't pronounce something else I can't pronounce which really isn't good like I don't like the fact that I can't pronounce these and I don't know what they are it's um has hydrolyzed silk 
olive fruit oil. Um, that's really the only thing that I I know that's in here. But um, I don't know what else to do. Cause I didn't feel like going all the way to Target to get my Shea Moisture. It's just too far away, and I don't know. I want to still find something that. I don't always, and the bottle, the Shea Moisture, I only get like two or three uses out of the bottle. But I'm hoping like with the new routine I'm going to be using, I'll, I can use less conditioner. But I'm going to try this out. Maybe I can get a few more uses out of it. If I don't like it, I definitely won't use it. I'll go back to my Shea Moisture, which I plan on doing anyway because I like it. But um, I just got this because I was in a hurry. And then I also got this just a nice cheap conditioner this one is juicy green apple and it smells smells it smells really good it smells so good but I just got this basically to help me detangle something that I can that's nice and cheap I can use and is not hurting my pockets you know and I, what I'm gonna do with that is I'll probably take some of this and some olive oil mix it together if I need it and now that'll help me to detangle prior to shampooing because according to the book grow it you should first finger detangle while your hair is dry get as many of the knots out as you can while your hair is dry then once you wet your hair you go through it a little bit more and um well once you detangle it while it's dry you braid each section I think she says six to eight sections then <clears throat> you um when you wet your hair you go through the section you detangle a little bit more and just make sure that um, it's detangled the best you can detangle it with your fingers first. And then um, while your hair is still in the sections, you put the shampoo on your hair, squeeze the shampoo through each section, then you rinse that out. And then you put, put your conditioner on, and this is when you detangle with your comb, which should make it a lot easier. It makes sense to me. Then now you go through it with your comb, then you twist the section back up. And then, you know, you rinse the conditioner out, or you sit in the dryer, da 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 whatever you gotta do. So, um... <clears throat> I do think I'm going to like it. I just have to get a routine and get a schedule. I don't know. Just right now I'm being lazy. <laughs> but this weekend is when I should start. And she was saying um, about your goal that you want to achieve and everything. So right now I'm probably like right here to my shoulders I guess. I'm hoping to get maybe to here. Which is about right here. Um, I don't know. I have to actually check and see where my hair is. I'm not sure where it falls at right now. I'm being lazy. <laughs> but, um, yeah, that's about it. And, oh, and I also got this uh, hair stopper so that, um, my hair won't be going down the sink and stopping it up and crap like that. And, you know, what made me really get this book is one day I was detangling my hair and so much hair came out. So much hair came out I was like you know what I'm not detangling right I can't be I should not be losing all of this hair so I was like all right, I'm gonna get this book because Kimmy Tube said that once she read this book she realized she wasn't being gentle enough with her hair and now I realized I wasn't either because I was just going straight to the comb straight to the comb combing it and that's not how you're supposed to do it you're supposed to do it with your fingers first to get out as much of the big tangles as you can as opposed to throwing a comb in your hair ripping that tangle out and I, I just I just felt like I wasn't doing it right. I felt like it it wasn't benefiting my hair. So that's why I got I got this book. And I'm glad I did because now I know a better way to detangle my hair. And since my hair is so kinky, it can get really hard to comb out. But if I'm using my fingers, I'm being gentle, got nice a little bit of oil in it, it shouldn't be a problem for me to go through my hair with my fingers. I do think I'm gonna have to cut my fingernails. Because I don't like the way my fingernails feel going through my hair. It's just a weird thing I have. But I am going to have to cut those down. <clears throat> and then I'll, I can I can see myself doing the finger detangling. And it benefiting me a lot more than just going straight to the comb. And I can show you guys um, how much hair I lose or whatever. Just to do a comparison for you. But um, yeah. I think that's about it. I'm trying <laughs> because with the way my hair is right now. I have the braids in the back. And what I do is I wear the hair out in the front like a bang or whatever. So I decided to try to do Bantu knots to see what they come out like. I haven't taken one out yet. Let me see. If I can get it out. 
Oh, I'm so excited. It's crazy. Like, this is my first time ever trying to do a Bantu knot in my hair. Wow, it's really, really curly. I didn't know it would be this curly. Wow, that's crazy. And it just curls up like that. Oh, that's awesome. So, but I'm going to twist this back up until I'm ready to actually wear it. Oh, snap. I like it. All right, well, um, I'll just come to you guys really quick, let you know what's going on, blah, 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 you know. But um, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.